Hi, I'm Lara Lush. You probably know me from my TV show, La La Lounge. Recently, I was privileged and honoured to interview Darren, one of the organisers and the inspiration of Culture Fest. What you're about to see are snippets from my interview with him on the La La Lounge, um, where I tried to get the facts out of Darren. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, well, we'll keep him. Stay still, Steve. Is that okay? Do it one more time, mate. You're yeah, set. Right. As long as you don't move him. Put you back in the spaceship. So that's why this year is called the Foundation Year, because we're starting it all off. We're building a wood hinge and a landala to mark the fact that we did this on this date in time. So if anyone is around in a thousand years' time and wants to party, they'll know where to do it. Sounds quite technical. Well, it's created by a bunch of rank amateurs with absolutely no idea what they're actually doing. And halfway through the festival, we're all going to swap jobs. So we're doing the other job that we didn't know what to do. It's sounding pretty hippie and on together so far. Is that what it is? Well, it may not be that organised. I mean, who cares? Everything else is organised. Right. Good answer. Have you got toilets? Got the coolest toilets you'll ever see. We're going to have the big day out kind of big name acts like Phoenix Foundation. Mm -hmm. and Nathan Haynes and Cornerstone Roots with a bit of luck. Come on, boys, bring it home. And um, it's also going to have the kind of Mullaney, Woodford kind of super organised, super eco, amazingly onto it production crew who can handle 140,000 people in a paddock right. without violence or particularly anyone getting really grumpy. For example, if someone was to turn up with bare feet, um, that would be acceptable. Yeah. Um, but if someone was to turn up in high heels, <laughs> impractical, impractical. But acceptable. But oh, well, yeah, yeah, acceptable. Yeah. Stubbies. Stubbies, <laughs> marginal, but still acceptable. A suit. Suit. That would be amusing. I, I would like to see a suit. Actually, if someone would like but to wear a suit, welcome. still welcome. Yeah. 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 But we may question as to the reason for his visit and what to see by him yeah. or her. <laughs> kids are welcome. Families are welcome. We've got a funky thing going on with kids where you pay a yeah. dollar for every year they are. Okay. And if you try and sneak out by a dollar or two, we will catch you. So um, if they're 12, they pay $12. Yes, not 11. Up until what or age? 13, but 12. Uh, 15. 15. Yeah. 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 yeah, till you're old enough. And there's enough things for kids to do as well? Well, you there's know, kids that... are pretty amazing. They can actually find stuff to do that adults can't. There's and that's special... what Culture Fest actually is. You know, the crux of the matter is if you can get to Culture Fest and be a kid, yeah. you'll have a shitload of fun. But if you can't, you might think it's a bit odd. Everywhere you go, there'll be friendly people, ultra-friendly people. And then we rang up a friend and said, we're looking for a UFO, do you know where we can find one? And do you know what he said? I've got one in my shed. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a UFO and we're bringing it to Auckland. So if you want to see the UFO? Culture face. Nudity. Nudity. Nudity, nudity. Basically, we invite you to bring stuff like decorations and crazy stuff that you'd like to go camping with, but if you went to a normal camping ground, they might think you're a little odd. <laughs> odd? Yeah. I so bring your camp. theme camp stuff along, you know? Do, um, do like, um, plan of the cave bear. Be creative. Camping or or being the, the backyard camp, you know? With okay. the picket fence and the lawnmower. And the the beers. We've the... got the Pillow Fight Club, which is... The, the ancient form of pillow calm, the, the martial art developed by, um, what was his name again? Okie Doki Toki, the um, Japanese comedian and pillow fighter extraordinaire. That's a bit like... Oh, yeah, that was a bit rough. Jeez. Let yourself go. Kick your feet <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yes. And uh, what's this other question you've got here? Where's tickets? Where can you get tickets? Tickets. Oh, I haven't thought of that yet. <laughs> Shit, where do we get tickets from? Go sick, mate, and have a good time.